I'm Brett Harris coming at you from Ideal Business Partners in downtown Las Vegas and today's Healthcare Minute we're going to talk about what the hell happened in, with healthcare. Republicans in Washington have been talking about repealing the Affordable Care Act since it became the law in 2010. So now with control of the House, the Senate, and the Presidency, you'd think it would be easy, right? Well, you'd be wrong. After the House was able to pass the American Health Care Act, the Senate scrapped the whole thing and started over and wrote the Better Care Reconciliation Act, tossed in some amendments, and even proposed that Congress repeal the ACA and give itself two years in order to come up with a replacement. According to the Congressional Budget Office, each iteration of this bill would have resulted in tens of millions of Americans losing their coverage. However, when it came time to actually vote on a bill, the GOP was unable to get enough Republicans to vote for any version that would have passed. And the night ended dramatically when John McCain, fresh from brain surgery, signaled his no vote with a simple thumbs down. So, with one turn of the wrist, Congress's first attempt at repealing ACA under Trump totally failed. So what happens next in federal health care? Who knows? But the GOP probably won't give up now, so we'll all just have to watch the show.